Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Um, yeah, these cards still exist. Th to be fair, they did have that in the description where they're like, yeah, we're going to be releasing them throughout the year. Um, people who like five-star skillers are probably going to get this card, but I mean, just from me thinking alone, I would say you give them like a Hawk or a Marksman, right? Without even looking at the stats. Flare traits, uh, flare, speed dribbler, in-game attributes... I mean, yeah, you gotta you gotta pretty much give a marksman to him for sure. Marksman, I think, messes with um, I think it messes with the attacking positioning too. Let me see if it does. Actually, I don't I don't think it does. Let me see. Let's see here. Um, oh, what is this? Seventy eight plus player pick, the twelfth man, rare mega pack. Yeah, okay. So this card. <clears throat> okay um i can't check just yet but yeah we're probably gonna be giving him a marksman to be honest if his acceleration is high and he has speed dribbler maybe the pace is like decent enough we'll see um we'll be boosting the shooting stats of the card passing is in an okay area uh dribbling we definitely need to improve the reactions ball control and dribbling part of the card you'd probably just have to work with composure as it is um Defensive stats, he has 89 heading accuracy, 97 for jumping. 97 for jumping with 5 foot 10 height is not too bad. Then 90 for stamina. I mean, if I was playing like a 3-4-3, three, three, he would be played as the right winger. Because if I actually get a cross in, it wouldn't be horrible to work with. Yeah, it's an interesting one for sure. Let's see here. So he is an explosive player for the most part. A marksman does not increase attacking positioning. But it does dribbling. Um, okay. Yeah, this is a poorly formatted card then, man. I mean, it isn't, it isn't. I mean, you can use that in the side area. Give him pace, shooting, and physical. Passing is, like, okay. Dribbling, you'd probably have to work with a little bit. But if you're playing him in that side area, it's not as bad. But it'd have to be specifically like a right mid, you know, I think, because with dribbling, it's probably going to be annoying with the average body type, but agility and bounce is really high, so that could compensate for it. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Interesting one. Uh, player trade, speed dribbler, flare. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Let's go and lock him. Okay, so I just went ahead and got the uh, position modifier for him. Bundesliga teams are, like, unless you go with, like, the full meta guys, they're usually, like, not too crazy to go with. I tell, I tell this to people all the time. Um, yeah, you know what we'll do? We'll do, we'll do the four, two, three, one. Cause we have to just test out a few things here and there. Okay. Let's see here. So we have a position change. To be honest, man, I, like, I feel like I even have to give him a dead eye cause that shooting boost and he needs way more. Cause a dead eye would actually give him this, right? Like the shooting stats being increased that much, I feel like is super important with passing being increased as well and you'd probably just have to work with the dribbling as it is so we'll see what that stuff is like man hopefully it's at least decent you know because the agility and bounce is really high okay <laughs> we score the first goal all right then we even get the green on that but that's why i want to give him the dead eyes because that shooting boost you know Oh, I think I don't know if it looks like he moved his goalkeeper. I could be wrong. Oh, he was offside too. I didn't even realize that. Oh, I shouldn't have done the angled body fence. Gonna slow him down like crazy there. Oh, I timed it so badly there because if I got it earlier, I would have had the um, the McGeady cancel. Got that one though. There it is. Now let's see what they can do here. Is this the moment? Oh, oh no way, man. Oh my goodness. They're just gonna forget about that moment of misfortune. And teammates to play it to. Really bright looking attack. Oh, nice try. If I had a green there, I probably would have scored that actually. I'm lucky. 
controlled possession, as you can see, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. Yes, it might be on for them once more. Oh, surely. Oh, maybe a tap shot would have been better. So I can just shoot the ball a little bit quicker there. No, man, I couldn't time the left stick against the goalie. There we go. Nicely done. At the end of the day, guys, like, even if your dribbling stats are not that high, when you have five-star skills, it's always helpful to have to attack in this game. The elasticals and all that kind of stuff, it's, it's, pretty, um, it's pretty helpful to have. Oh, I shouldn't have done it that way. That was bad. He's not making the sense. Yeah, see, a moment like that, you know, once you get the acceleration going and having the extra sprint speed would definitely be, uh, definitely be helpful for sure. It's good that the acceleration is high because it's helpful for the um, explosive accelerate, but, you know. Oh, I caught it on the white. Man. Listen, that finesse shot animation before was actually nice. So I want to see if I can get that again. Let's see if it's a consistent thing with him. Oh, oh that one was going to be more looped there. Ah. Couldn't, uh, couldn't sprint quickly enough in there. Oh, no interception there. Oh, yeah, I'm on the weak foot from the Alaska. No goal. By time shot, no goal. A white time shot under pressure as well. It was like a more looped shot as well. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what's happening there. Uh, but you can see clearly with the left stick dribbling and the average body type, like he has that animation slowness for sure. That's just super lucky, to be honest with you. <laughs> Nice. Work the extra pass angle, get the tap shots, good to go. Even when he shoots, like you can see that his body type in those low dribbling stats, like it's a thing, like animation choice wise and whatnot. That works. That works. Why am I scoring most of the opportunities with his left foot? That's so weird. Okay, scores it with his uh, right foot there as well. Okay, so I just want to see if... If you give him a marksman, I just want to see if it actually fixes the dribbling part of the card. However, even if you give a marksman, the thing is that certain things are going to be decreased, which would be nice to be higher, you know? But we'll just see if it fixes the dribbling uh, when it comes to like the left stick or animation choices and whatnot. Oh, couldn't get the goal off there. His left stick felt a little bit better there. It wasn't horrible. Oh, that's not what I expected. I wanted to do like a McGeady cancel, but he did still do the same thing to kind of get into the area there. I'm gonna do this real quick. Call him close. A little elastico. Yeah, I gotta put more power. When you don't have the dead eye for the, the that extra shot power, your your shooting for the greens is just different, you know. Oh, there's a white time shot too. 
No way, dude. You beat the guy, he's still there, man. Oh, I couldn't get the green on it. Man. Oh, I couldn't get the uh, shot angle on his right. Nice try. Maybe on a green we get that. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the... I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce his name. Like Kire? 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 Something like that? Um, okay. So listen. This card, if you give him a marksman chemistry style, right, you will feel the dribbling stats being increased a little bit. It's, it's helpful to work with, of course. Um, but you do still feel the 80 composure. Like when he's under pressure... Uh, he's going to be thrown off a little bit, right? You could see that he kind of does that like shooting animation, like where he's like thrown off um, when he's about to take the strike, especially with that 80 composure. So regardless of whether or not you improve the dribbling, sometimes you'll notice that on the card. Um, it would be nice if it was possible to give this card something like a dead eye chemistry style, but then EA themselves with a marksman would give him the dribbling boost. I'm not sure why they're so against doing this, to be honest with you guys, because a card like this would not be overpowered if you did something like that and you kept his pace as it is, right? Especially since it's a card that you're releasing nowadays as an SBC for 104K, right? Um, for the most part, when it comes to how this card performs in game, it's a card you're going to unlock because you want to utilize five-star skills for the most part, right? But people who like to use five-star skills, I would say for the most part, they would like to have someone that will feel better on that left stick. Um, I liked him best on a dead eye because of the shooting boost that he's given uh, for consistency. You know, the extra pass is a very helpful thing to work with too. But if you use him like this, sprint speed in certain situations is going to be low and then the base card stats for dribbling in certain situations is going to be low as well because you're working with the average body type with those things right so your build-up play just has to be a little bit different um if you choose to unlock a card like this for your squad generally speaking is it an sbc that i would personally do myself not necessarily um i consider these concept sbcs right so they should honestly release them for like 40k i'm not even joking when i say that right because 100k uh for a card that Honestly, not a lot of people will use is uh, is kind of crazy. Even even if there's an SBC where they re they release like 80 plus player picks or something for you to collect fodder to put them into it. Um, it's kind of like whatever. Uh, is it a card that you can use in game? Yeah, I mean, I use players like Hernani and stuff and Hernani is definitely not meta. But yeah, the, the most important thing is being able to give him the dead eye, work with the five star skills and work with the shooting being higher, which to be fair is actually pretty noticeable. I was able to score some weak foot strikes with him just as long as I green timed them. It still works out really well because you're boosting the shooting to be in a very, very significant area, right? So, um, but yeah, generally speaking, pretty boring day for content, I would say for the most part. Um, so it's gonna be the type of card that people unlock just to be able to use the five star skills and play him in these different versatile position changes depending on the situation of their Bundesliga team. But guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes, love you guys.